Hello everybody, it's Queen Jelly here and welcome to or welcome back to my toy box. We are a mostly doll themed YouTube channel that opens a variety of dolls and toys. Um, and today I have a video um, that's going to be a little bit choppy and I do apologize about that ahead of time. Um, number one in these parts that I'm filming today, be aware it's still during that time where I'm on a lot of medication because of um, some medical stuff that's going on, so I'm not exactly the most coherent at all times. Not that I usually am, but it feels worse than usual. So if I say something or seem very spacey, that's why, number one. Number two for background on this video, it's actually um, been filmed in parts because originally I was trying to spread out the content, but now I realize I have a huge backlog of content, backlog of dolls I need to open, and I just wanted to open some Monster High minis. So I think I'm going to go ahead and compile everything together into a complete case unboxing. Um, so the video is going to seem a bit choppy because it's been parts over time. Um, honestly, at this point, I have so much content and so many dolls that I haven't posted that I could post almost daily and not run out of content. But at this point, I might increase to maybe three videos a week rather than just the two videos a week but I don't really have the money to afford to continue to create content every day if I'm not able to keep up with it. So I don't want to put that precedent out that I am going to be posting every day and then at some point just randomly stop or create myself to feel this pressure that I have to have more because I already feel enough pressure um, to constantly have the latest and greatest toys and dolls and um, most of my videos don't ever get uploaded and when they do they get a hundred couple hundred views so like I'm just ready to get some content out there and off of my phone I guess um, again sorry about the rambling but um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this part here this will should go at the beginning and then you should see a couple of segments where I'm opening um, the collection that's sitting back here and um, talking about these two up at the top and then hopefully when you come back to seeing it looking like this that'll be the new content and that will be the remainder of the case so all right hey everybody it's editing jelly here and i just want to let you know and apologize that um the next clip is going to be kind of choppy because deleted part of my footage apparently um i originally did record this back in october and i guess somewhere along the way of editing my g3 videos i apparently deleted the original clip for this video so all the figures from the unboxing are still in the video but just the footage of me actually unboxing them for the first four figures is missing so i do apologize for that um and i hope you enjoy anyway all right, so I'm gonna go free cam for a second, but you guys should have just seen some stock images of these uh, ghouls. I did look them up just to confirm that everything was correct, as I said, and this is indeed supposed to be Claudine, and this is Caddy Noir, which like I said, I did realize it just felt too on the nose. <laughs> so I didn't think it was correct. I thought I was making it up in my head, but it was correct. So I think, um, I think for this video, my favorite is the new Frankie. Um, but let me know what who's your favorite, um, including even the ones that I already have. Um, let me know what you guys think of these down below if you're excited to see this series. Um, yeah, it'll be really fun, I think, opening some of these like really- So, for context, if you didn't know, I bought a brand new box of Monster High minis off of Amazon. These came in a factory sealed box, but these are from Mattel in 2015, or at least that's when the copyright date is on these. But either way, these are original Monster High minis, but I was able to buy a brand new box of them and we're slowly opening them. These are the four ghouls we found last time. So hopefully we will find some different ones this time because there are 70 plus to collect and we still have all these to get open. We're going to be doing another four in today's video. So one, two, three, four. Again, this is the box that they would have come in on the shelf and it came in a completely like sealed factory box, which was really, really cool. Those two that they're holding, I actually found at Goodwill. So let's go ahead and get us started. 
Um, as a reminder, I also <laughs> not great with all the characters' names. I tried to look up and know who most of these people are, but that was also like right after I opened those, which was now a hot minute ago. So apparently I should have my scissors. Because these are going to be a pain, apparently. So they do come in these little boxes that are plastic wrapped. And so this is series one of them. Boop. So they're plastic wrap, and then they come in this cardboard wrap that has this really old Instagram logo on it. I find it so funny. All of them have this number here, this DYJ30. Um, so that does not help tell who's in any of these boxes. I've not been able to find any codes or any indicators on them who might be inside. Um, again, there's 70 plus to collect and little pictures of them all around. Um, surprise figure inside. And they do come in these little plastic pink um, lockers that, as you can see, they clip and stack together so that you can store them in there, which is a lot of fun. I'm potentially thinking about taking some of the stickers from the Gorganizer set for G3 and putting them on the lockers just because I think it would be fun. I like stacking them. Come out. Come out. Come out wherever you are. Oh, there we go. Um, they are not blind bagged from what I remember. So I'm just going to flip it over. <laughs> I flipped a little too hard. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Who is this? I can't see enough to tell. She's so cute though. Look at her hair. <gasps> oh my gosh. So this is one of the, so, oh my gosh. I love her hair. I can't. So this has got to be one of the power ghouls. Let's see, that's Frankie here. That looks like Spectra. Um, I know her name. She's a gargoyle, I can't think of it. And then that's Laguna and Draculaura. And who is this? Somebody's gonna have to tell me because I don't know. Maybe I'll look her up. I don't know, but she's gorgeous, whoever she is. This hair is stunning. It's like this like pearlescent shimmery hair. She has like a gray face, um, blue purpley body with like a little spider on it. She has a mask on and she has purple eyes. Oh my gosh. I literally, I'm going to stop recording and go find out who this is because they are the cutest freaking thing. So I just looked it up and it says that this is Twyla. So... I thought Twyla was purple, but apparently she is not, so I am wrong. And um, but I love her. She is so 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 cute. Um, I might now be obsessed with Twyla, <laughs> a character that I didn't even like recognize, which is stupid. But like, I love her. She's so cute. Um, so that is Twyla of the Power Ghouls, and um, it also looks like the set came out in 2016, according to the information I found. So. There doo -doo -doo -doo, is down here, and that is a blue skull, which means she is part of the commons. So far, we have not found any that are not part of the commons here. Um, the two that I found at Goodwill were not commons, though, which is pretty cool. Um, where? Ah, here they are. Doo -doo -doo. Trying to angle it so you can see it. Next, on to the next one. They come in the same packaging, like I said, same everything. I haven't found any differences that might be able to indicate who or what is inside the boxes, which is fine. Um, the only reason I would like that is so that I don't end up opening more than one of the same character in the same video, uh, but it's fine. Let's see who we get this time. Trying to see if I can get these open without. Oh, that one I did. I actually got it open without ripping the box. That's cool. All right, let's try not to throw them across the room this time when we go flip. And that didn't. <laughs> I'm so bad at that. Ooh, who is this? Oh my gosh. 
Tell me who you are. You look like a cat. Is this, um, no, Caddy Noir is black. There's a white cat too. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Look at her purple hair. She has white fur and purple hair and this little purple dress with pink bows on it. Little black bow tie up here, little pink toes, and these blue eyes that are just so like, so much attitude, so much sass. Okay, let's get the collector's guide out of there. Set her up on top for a second. Okay, so there she... Is that... No, that's not that one. Let's see. Where are you on our list? No, that's a different outfit. Where are you? Oh. That's got to be this one. Okay, so she's in Sleepover Ghouls. Here she is. Um, she's also a common. Interestingly enough, though, in the artwork, she has that like dark purple stripe in her hair, but this is definitely her otherwise. That face up screening is also quite different. Hmm. That's odd. So that is Katrina Demu of the sleepover set. Again, I did look up at that database again, and it does seem to be that's what she looks like, even though her screening and hair look quite different from the checklist. But that is the outfit, and that's the doll. So super cute. I love that we're getting new characters, characters that I'm not aware of, which is interesting because I watch, I don't watch the official media yet um, of the G1, but I just watch a lot about G1 all the time. So it's kind of interesting that there's characters that I'm not as familiar with as I thought I was, so. Um, there she is. Two more. Super cool. All right, let's see who we get next. Um, by the way, I don't know if I said it or not, but she is also another common. All right, let's see who's we got next. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Trying to find a spot where I can... Actually, you know what? Let's just cut the cardboard. Did that work? No. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm absolutely destroying this one. Ugh. These are not super easy to open, but that's fine, because then that means, like, again... Like, packaging's not supposed to be easy to open because you're not supposed to open it, like, in the store. So, let's flip it, but not throw it. Purple hair. It looks like a different shade of purple than we have before, though. So. Ooh. Let's get her open and see what she looks like. Who are you? Who are you? Ooh, is this Spectra? Is it? Because she kind of has this like, almost like translucent looking skin with this purple hair. She has purple eyes with music notes in it. She has a purple shirt with music note buttons, which are super duper cute. Black skirt, purple leggings and black shoes. So cute. Oh my goodness. Another one that I don't know who this is. I swear I know Monster High. <laughs> These are just like dairy, like, because they're chibi interpretations, I think might be also what's like throwing me off. Why it's a little bit harder for me to recognize them. Um, let's see. Where are you on my checklist? You're wearing purple and black. And you have purple hair. That's her, but that's not this one. That's not that one. Is it? It's this one. She's a circus ghoul. And she is a fanta fantastic find. Woohoo! All right. There she is on the checklist. She is a fantastic find. She is one of the circus ghouls. Let's go find out what her name is. She is Ari Hauntington. So, Ari Hauntington. Again, so I was at least right. She is a little ghosty girl. That's why she has these little ghosty details. 
She has purple and black. Oh my gosh, so cute. So that is Ari Haunted Inn, and that is our first fantastic find of our series so far. So far, everyone else has been a common. All right. I don't want to say anything and jinx it, so let's just go straight on to the last one for this video. We still have half a box to open up, but for the video, this will be our last one. Oh. Sorry if the plastic's loud. Rip that box open. I just wanted to keep one, so now that I got the one that's good, I'm just happy to rip them open. All right, last one. Da, 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 da. Dude, <gasps> it's Deuce, which technically is a new one for the videos, but this is the same one that I found at Goodwill, which is kind of amusing because I'm pretty sure that this is a We'll find out on the checklist, but I'm pretty sure he's a rarer one. So it's really funny that there... And... I'm laughing because look at his sunglasses. Because the one that I have does the same thing. And I was like hoping that it was because somebody had it for a while and it morphed. But nope, that's how they come. Oh my god. I'm laughing so hard right now. So here is... Here is our new deuce. Which, like I said, is technically new for the series and new for the box. But he's one of two goals that's not brand new to me. So here's the one I found at Goodwill. And there's the one from the box. So. Let's find him on the checklist. So. Do, 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 do. There he is. See, he's a yellow. Which means he's a frightfully uncommon. So. He's, <laughs> there is one, only one level harder to find. In that one level, there's only one doll. The only one that's purple is mm, Space Monsters Frankenstein. That one is the only purple. So he's technically in the highest rarity, and I now have two of him. I'm dying. <laughs> Uh, it's probably not as amusing as I'm making it, but there he is. There's little deuce. I can't believe I just found a rare. And it happened to be a rare I had. <laughs> what are the odds of that? Like, that's insane. So, there they are. There is our ghouls so far. Our stack's getting pretty tall. I might go sideways next. Um... But that's actually kind of a nice height. You can see everybody except for the the bottom row there. So, all right, my friends, my fiends, my ghouls and monsters, and everything in between. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I got a kick out of recording it and of finding. So I found three characters I wasn't familiar with, and one character that was a duplicate. Um. But no duplicates for this video as far as like actually from this box. So that's pretty cool. Um, all new dolls. Nothing that we had previously opened. Um, and no duplicates within this episode. So thumbs Here's up to the that. four ghouls we got today. We got a Deuce, Ari, Twyla, and Katrina. Um, so... I love all four of them. I super cool that we didn't get any duplicates this time with the exception of Deuce, but like, I mean, it's still not a duplicate from the box. So that's pretty cool. And we did find an uncommon we found or a rare even. Um, so yeah, he's a rare as opposed to like an ultra rare. So he's a rare and then three commons, but it was th four brand new characters, three of which I wasn't even familiar with. So as to which one's my favorite, I'm having a really hard time picking um, because I think all three of these are, or all four of these are super awesome. Um, hmm. I think I just, I love the skin on this one. I love the hair on this one. I love the expression on that one. But I think...
that's too hard to decide. I think I'm gonna go with her for my favorite for this video. And um, favorite overall find so far. Um, I really like the freaky. Oh, we have two of them already. So kind of like, I don't know. And I have like new, new find bias maybe. Cause I think I'm going to stick with her. Close as contender or Frankie here. Cause she's adorable. <laughs> so yeah.
Okay, so I completely 100% rearranged them and they are no longer in rarity order. They are in collection sets. Um, so again, quick reminder, these two I did not get from the case. Everything else I got from the case. From the case itself, I only ended up with two duplicates to ones that were in the case and one duplicate because of the one I have. But so I put my three, technically three duplicates down here at the bottom because where I'm going to be placing them on the shelf, when I look up, I won't really be able to see them anyway. So I kind of just put them at the bottom. Um, I only have one Power Ghouls, one Getting Ghostly, so they went there. I have three of the Sleepover, three of the Beach, two Pattern Ghouls, two Circus Ghouls, two Candy Ghouls, and then I wanted, even though I only got one in the set, I wanted her up here so that she can sit up on top because I do not have a case for her because I got her second hand. And same thing with him, so I put the Space Ghouls over here. Um, actually, because... Let's, there we go. So now the space goals are stacked, the candies are stacked, the circus are stacked, the pattern are stacked, and then these ones go across. I may rearrange them again at some point. You never know. Um, but yeah, so that's how they are right now. So we have our space goals, our candy goals, circus goals, but rag dolls, our patterns, beach, sleepover, Ghostly, Power, Duplicates. And they are going to go up on the shelf right there in that gap. And then um, some of my G1 style dolls are going to stand in front of them. So, cool. All right. Thank you for watching. I know it was probably a long video. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching my full case unboxing of G1 Monster High Minis. And uh, we will see you all in the next one. Bye. Thanks for watching.